हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास होप यू आर आर हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट इंग्लिश लिटरेचर चैप्टर नंबर फोर अ डॉ लवस केक सो स्टूडेंट्स आर टूडेज स्टोरी अ डॉग लवस केक एज द नेम सजेस्ट इज अबाउट अ पैट डॉग हो रिसाइड्स इन अ स्मॉल हाउस विद एन ओल्ड मैन एंड This dog loves to eat cake. It's an interesting story. So let's begin. Chapter number फोर A dog loves cakes. So at the beginning of this chapter also an activity is given, just like former chapters. In this activity, you have to share your experiences about pets. Do you have any pets at home? What's the name of that pet? You have to write the name and kind of pet it is in this. Um, page and in the box given below you have to draw or paste the picture of any animals that you would like to have as a pet in your home and you can draw the pictures creatively you can be imaginative or you can simply paste the picture so this was all about this activity let's start our chapter our story as usual students first i will read the lines and after that i will explain it to you let's start now let's read this story about how a pet dog behaves and what his master does mr jones is an old man he lives alone in his cottage his best friend is toffy his dog so students now opening few lines of the chapter introduces us with mr jones who is an old man and this old man mr jones lives alone in his cottage cottage means small house so this mr jones lives in a small house and he lives all alone and he also have a best friend whose name is toffy and his best friend is actually his dog his pet dog and he have named this pet dog as toffy Now let's read the second para. Every day Mr. Jones follows the same routine. He gets up late in the mornings. He has a wash and then he goes out for a walk. He takes Toffy with him. He first goes to the coffee shop at the corner. He drinks a cup of co- coffee and eats a slice of fruit cake. The cake is for 2 rupees. Toffy sits under his chair. he gives him a little cake so the second para of the chapter tells us about the daily routine which mr jones used to follow so mr jones is old man used to wake up late in the morning and uh, after uh, waking up he used to have a nice wash and then he goes out for a walk taking uh, his pet dog toffy also with him and first of all he goes to a coffee shop and he used to have a nice cup of coffee over there and a slice of fruit cake you can see this was his breakfast which with which he used to start his day a cup of coffee and a slice of fruit cake and he used to pay 2 rupees for that cake while he used to have his breakfast this coffee and cake toffee sits under his chair and uh, he used to give toffy also a small piece of cake now let's read further then mr jones crosses the road and buys a newspaper he gives the paper to toffy toffy holds it gently between his teeth and carries it home he feels proud doing so so students these lines tells us that after having his breakfast mr jones used to purchase a newspaper daily and he after purchasing that newspaper he gave that newspaper to toffy his pet dog and uh, this toffy um, holds that newspaper gently between his teeth and he carries carried that newspaper to home and he feels very this toffy feels very proud in carrying the newspaper in his teeth let's read further Last month Mr Jones fell ill he could not leave his bed the doctor told him you have got the flu 
Now Mr. Jones could not go out to get his daily newspaper. He thought of a plan. He gave a two rupee coin to Toffy like a rocket. The dog shot off and came back with the newspaper in his mouth. So a student, this para tells us that once Mr. Jones fell ill. He was very sick. He was uh, an old man and after getting sick he became very weak he was unable to go out of his bed even and then doctor came and told him that you have got the flu flu is a kind of disease and doctor told him that mr jones you have got flu and mr jones now was unable to go out for his walk as he was not able to get up from his bed so he couldn't go out for his walk he couldn't get that coffee and and cake and of course the newspaper which he used to purchase and read daily and you know students once a person starts reading newspaper he become addicted to that and just like that mr jones was willing to read the newspaper he wanted to read the newspaper but he was unable to go out and purchase the newspaper so he thought of a plan he thought that he would send his dog Toffee to purchase newspaper. So he gave a two rupee coin to Toffee so that Toffee can go out and purchase a newspaper for him. And as soon as uh, this dog Toffee gets the coin, it suddenly shot off. Shot off means leave quickly. The dog suddenly leave quickly to get the newspaper and finally he came back with the newspaper in his mouth so he understood the intention of his master let's read further after a week mr jones went out the newspaper seller told him you owe me 14 rupees your dog took seven newspapers and didn't bring any money so students after a week uh, mr jones was finally better he was well again so he went out as usual he followed his uh, previous routine he went out in the morning and when he reached the newspaper seller newspaper seller told him something very surprising something which made uh, mr jones very surprised and shocked what did mr uh, what did newspaper seller told him newspaper seller told mr jones that you have to give me you owe me means oh the word owe means give money or make payment so the newspaper seller told him that you have to give me 14 rupees because your dog took uh, seven newspapers from me and he didn't make payment for any of them he didn't give me any money so on hearing these words from the newspaper seller mr jones was shocked why he because he was giving money to his pet dog toffee daily he was daily giving him two rupees to bring the newspaper so students here the story creates curiosity that where does that money goes let's read further on the next page to find out mr jones was surprised i will find out what toffee has been up to he said to himself next morning he gave Toffee a two rupee coin. The dog dashed out. Mr. Jones followed him. He saw the dog go to the coffee shop. Toffee put the coin on the counter and got a piece of fruit cake and gobbled it up. Naughty dog, said Mr. Jones. So, students, in order to find out that what does Toffee uh, did with that money which he used to give him for purchasing the newspaper mr jones and uh, again gave him two rupees the next morning and uh, as soon as uh, he gave him the coin he gave toffee and toffee suddenly uh, leave the place he go out of the house and mr jones followed the doggy he went behind the doggy to see to find out what he will do with that two rupee coin and to his surprise, Mr. Jones saw that instead of going to the newspaper seller, his dog Toffee went to the coffee shop where Mr. Jones used to have his breakfast 
before falling sick and after reaching the coffee shop uh, toffee put that 2 rupee coin on the counter and the person who was here beside the counter gave him a piece of fruit cake and toffee uh, took that fruit cake and gobbled it up gobbled means to eat quickly and noisily so after seeing all this that uh, toffee purchased fruit cake and eat it up instead of purchasing the newspaper giving the money to the newspaper seller mr jones said to toffee naughty dog now let's read further toffee heard his master's voice he came to mr jones and hung his head in shame mr jones petted toffee and said don't do this again when mr jones said naughty dog to toffee naughty dog came close to mr jones as he heard his voice and this dog he was so sensible he hung his head in shame he was feeling very shy that he is doing wrong instead of giving the money to the newspaper seller he is eating um, fruit cake with that money he was feeling very shameful so he hung his head in shame in front of his master after that what did mr jones do he patted toffee and said to him that don't do this again patted means a light blow with hand so mr jones gave a light blow with his hand to toffee and said to him that don't do this again now let's read further now toffee does not even look at the coffee shop when his master goes there he sits outside and wags his tail once mr jones gave him a big slice of cake but toffee did not eat it often mr jones tells him you are the best dog in the world then he seems to glow with pride and joy so students the last few lines of the chapter tells us about the about the changed behavior of toffee from after that incident when uh, mr jones saw everything and he warned his Uh, pet dog not to do that again uh, toffee changed his behavior completely now he does not even look at the coffee shop and when mr jones used to have his coffee and uh, cake toffee sits outside the coffee shop and uh, wags his tail wags me move from side to side and mr jones gave a big slice of cake to toffee but he did not eat that cake and this change behavior of uh, toffee impressed mr jones very much and he often used to uh, say to toffee that you are the best dog in the world and these words of appreciation from his master makes uh, toffee feel very joyful very happy and very proud so here ends our this chapter a dog loves cakes a very touching story which shows how sensitive a little dog was so hope you must have understood it clearly nicely we'll meet you on the next turn till then take care and be safe